Hey, my name is Ryan Leverton. I'm the lead technician of Cosmetics Number no. 2 and ECO at ECD Automotive Design. A NAS D110 Defender was for the 1993 model year only. It was vehicles that were imported from the UK to America, modified to our safety specifications over here to be sold in the American market. Um, they were planning on selling, I've heard, of selling up to 5,000 of them. They made 500 of them and actually had trouble selling them over the first three years in which they were in the United States. The target market for the 110 sold in America was probably somebody who wasn't looking quite to spend what they would spend on a Range Rover, but they still wanted the ultimate off-road ability. I think that Land Rover is a little ambitious in thinking how they could sell these at a $40,000 price point in America at the time, which you could get a like a fully loaded Jeep Grand Cherokee, which was brand new, for $30,000, like $10,000 less with equal off-road ability or pretty close to it, and with leather and upgraded interiors and more refined. Um, they did have trouble selling these. They only sold 300 and change the first year out of the 500 and they were sitting on dealership floors for the next two years trying to sell that first year of the D110 after the D90s had come out in 94. So the easiest way and quickest way to spot a difference between the UK version and the North American version of the D110 is for our crashworthiness standards and passenger safety, they immediately had to modify all their trucks that they were shipping over, which would primarily include the full external and internal roll cage on all of the trucks that they sold in North America. Um, beyond that, there's some styling and functional cues that they added to it. It also features such as the, uh, the brush guard on the front, the basket on top of the roll bar, the rear ladder, um, things like that, color cued wheels to the body that you could spot, kind of puts together as a package, you can identify it as a North American spec defender. So the D110 was intended to be sold multiple years in the US, but sales were paltry. So it ended up being a one year deal and they found out that the, the D90 was more of a North American preference. Uh, price point wise and what we were looking for over here as well. The NAS 110s all came with a 3.9 liter V8 uh, borrowed from the Range Rover with fuel injection as well. Uh, it made 182 horsepower which was mostly underpowered. Uh, for reference it was the same as the six cylinder that was put in all the Jeeps at the time. They all came with a five-speed manual and the all-wheel drive lockable center diff transfer case as well. If the customer wants to keep the aesthetics of what originally came on the NAS 110 there's actually quite a few unique parts that are extremely hard to get for these if you, you know, damage them or they're rusted out or broken or missing at some point in time. But there is a lot of parts that, that can be salvaged or have to be salvaged if you want to keep the original originality of the NAS 110. Personally with ECO, I've worked on four of the trucks, either original or modified or a mix of somewhere in between. Favorite part of overhauling the NAS 110 would probably be uh, needing to keep weird parts working or get them working again when they weren't. Uh, the trucks are odd, uh, there's not that many of them. They're now super rare because of the situation when they sold them. So trying to keep the rareness going is, is my favorite part.